Netflix's The Irregulars tries to be a fresh spin on Sherlock Holmes, but also isn't entirely new when it comes to borrowing from other popular shows. Sherlock is the most portrayed character in history, and Netflix's newest show, The Irregulars, adds to that long list of adaptations, including a diverse cast and a modernization of Victorian-era London. The Irregulars tries to come off as a new take, but feels like Netflix doing its usual thing. This right here is the appropriate reaction to danger. Even though The Irregulars is a new show, you might be thinking, wait, didn't I just see a Netflix and Sherlock collaboration? Which the answer is yes. Enola Holmes, the movie about Sherlock's little sister, was released exclusively on Netflix back in September 2020, starring Stranger Things' Millie Bobby Brown, everyone from The Hunger Games' Sam Claflin as Mycroft Holmes, Helena Bonham Carter as the Holmes matriarch, and Henry Cavill as Sherlock himself. Similar to other interpretations, Enola Holmes and The Irregulars feature exclusively a British cast. The overall tone of Enola Holmes feels pretty light, despite dealing with some darker subject matter from time to time. Having Enola break the fourth wall keeps the pace of the movie easygoing. Now where to begin? More so than The Irregulars, which is much darker in tone and substance. I hate the real me. Something unique to both of these adaptations is the inclusion of romance. Because neither of them have Sherlock as the lead, we get to watch our new heroes figure out love and relationships as teenagers, who also are brilliant at solving mysteries. Enola is given one central love interest, and we get to watch their friendship and fondness for each other grow over the two-hour movie. Ultimately, Enola chooses herself over romance, but leaves the door open for something in a possible sequel, perhaps? The Irregulars follows a more standard young adult trope, a love triangle. We see our main heroine, B as the target of two boys' affections, all while she's trying to make some money by working for the mysterious Dr. Watson and his business partner, Sherlock. Neither Enola or the Irregulars are solely focused on Sherlock Holmes himself, but more of the world that surrounds him and 221B Baker Street. The renowned detective presence is felt, though, with Henry Cavill's aloof but cool older brother in Enola, to the washed up and down on his luck, but still brilliant Sherlock we see in the Irregulars. In both, Sherlock seems more like a concept for the main characters to focus on, rather than an actual person. The famous Dr. Watson makes an appearance in The Irregulars and is more prominently featured than we've ever seen him on screen. Sherlock's brother, Mycroft, is featured in both Enola Holmes and The Irregulars, but both are different iterations that are molded to match the tone of each project. Mycroft in Enola is the outrageously uptight oldest brother who demands Enola have a proper upbringing against her wishes. What is this? In The Irregulars, he is still the more normal-seeming brother, and very well off, but not as brazen as his Enola Holmes counterpart. Both Enola and The Irregulars are based on literary material, original, and expanded stories. Enola Holmes is based on the young adult series written by Nancy Springer that's based on Sherlock Holmes, but focuses on his younger sister, like the movie. The Irregulars have more of a direct line to the source, as the Baker Street Irregulars make an appearance in two novels and one short story in the original series by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. While the Baker Street Irregulars have historical roots, The Irregulars is original in perspective, tone, and characters. Also, the Baker Street Irregulars are featured in the BBC's Sherlock, but they're referred to as The Homeless Network. In both adaptations, some fun Easter eggs can be seen, such as the giant water fountain at Mycroft's with the dogs, a reference to the Hounds of Baskerville. In recent years, there have been some critically acclaimed retellings involving Sherlock, and some that were just meh. Sherlock Holmes first appeared in A Study in Scarlet, which was published in 1887. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote four novels and 56 short stories involving Sherlock over his lifetime. More currently, Robert Downey Jr. took a turn as the literary icon, resulting in two movies released in 2009 and 2011, and the third to be released in 2021. Also around that time, the BBC created the series Sherlock, starring Benedict Cumberbatch as the titular character. Robert Downey Jr.'s movies are set in Victorian England. What makes it a modern retelling is how it utilizes the elements of action movies of the time. Casting Robert Downey Jr. amped up Sherlock's cool guy factor and integrated a lot of humor. You know, in another life, you'd have made an excellent criminal. Yes, and you, sir, an excellent policeman. The BBC's Sherlock is completely modern in every sense. Instead of Victorian England to 21B Baker Street, it's the 2010s version of Baker Street. 
Sherlock and Watson are seen with computers, cell phones, and cars. What makes this series feel essentially Sherlock is Benedict Cumberbatch's performance. Anderson, don't talk out loud. You lower the IQ of the whole street. We can do much more than just read her emails. The Irregulars fall into a unique category, somewhat between the two. It's set in Victorian England, much like the RDJ movies, and feels modern and fresh because of its stark difference in storyline and casting. The cast consists of a young, fresh-faced, and diverse group of teenagers who haven't had the easiest life, and primarily focusing on the Baker Street Irregulars versus Sherlock himself where in the novels, they're assisting Sherlock. Choosing to have a young Asian woman as the lead character adds a depth that hasn't been seen, where it's usually just Holmes and Watson in every adventure. Adding to the modernization is teenage angst, figuring out who they are, and coming to terms with their past, all the while, haunting pop song covers play over each episode. This show is a great hodgepodge of the old, the new, and the unexplored references of Sherlock Holmes. In addition, this adaptation, much like Enola Holmes, has a strong element of romance in it. Sherlock has been classically portrayed as someone who abstains from romantic engagements, at least from a general standpoint. But in The Irregulars, the love triangle takes center stage in between solving mysteries. It's great to see the breadth of romance and relationships added into Sherlock's lore, where it's been gravely absent in most iterations. Right you are. With all of that said, we can't ignore how much The Irregulars seems to draw comparisons to other popular shows right now, including many other Netflix originals. Looking more into this, it's very clear that Episode 4 is very similar to a Game of Thrones storyline. The main villain of Episode 4 is a young woman who has the ability to take people's faces and embody them while wearing their faces as a mask. Sounds pretty familiar to Arya Stark's talent. The love triangle in The Irregulars is a central plot point across the series, and it includes elements that you can find in a lot of young adult themes shows and movies. As mentioned before, B has the attention of two boys in the series, her childhood friend and someone who has been with her through everything, Billy, and the new rich boy, Leopold. There's also the overarching theme of teens against the world, like we see in Fate, the Winx saga with Bloom and her school friends, and the friend group in Stranger Things, which both are Netflix originals too. In the first episode of The Irregulars, the villain they're tracking down is stealing newborn babies, a lot like one of the main surprises revealed in Fate, the Winx saga. The supernatural elements also bring to mind the chilling adventures of Sabrina, and Stranger Things as well. Also, the modernization of a traditional period piece, namely using a more diverse cast, is akin to Netflix's hit Bridgerton, even down to the classical stylings of pop songs. A difference between Bridgerton and The Irregulars is that they don't really acknowledge the diversity like Bridgerton does. Leopold, the wealthy teen who hides his true royal identity from the other Irregulars, mirrors the plot point in The Crown as well. It's easy to see where Netflix got a lot of their inspiration, outside of the original source material. And the answer is, mostly within their own catalog of shows and movies. It's easy to see how The Irregulars has taken inspiration from more than just Sherlock Holmes. We think it brings all the best elements from its inspiration, and gives 221B Baker Street a modern perspective. What did you think of The Irregulars? Does it remind you of any other favorite shows or movies? 